Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to view multiple parts of the same document at once. So many times you're working on a document, you need to see one part of the document and then work on the other. So Microsoft Word makes this step easy and it gives you two features by which you can view two parts of the same document at once. Let us start with the first one. Go to the view tab and then click on split. What it will do, it, it will split the screen into two parts, the upper part and the lower part. Now you can independently scroll the document or control the view of the document in the upper part and the lower part. You can scroll each part separately. You can zoom in and zoom out each part separately. Microsoft Word also provides you the way by which you can resize the upper and lower part accordingly. So you can do this by using your mouse by clicking at this horizontal line and then resizing it by your mouse. Now you can see that the two documents are very much similar and once you add it in one part, it gets reflected instantaneously in the other part. One disadvantage of this kind of splitting is you can see that the screen on the left side and right side are not used, are getting wasted. You can use this part of the screen and you can efficiently use your screen by splitting the document vertically. Now you can come back off this split screen by going to view and clicking remove split. And now you can split this document vertically by clicking on a new window in a view tab. Now, once you do this, it will create a new Microsoft Word window with a same documents. In a way, it is cloning into a different view. So you can see this is one part and this is a second part. Now, what you can do is you can view this window side by side by going to view tab and then clicking on view side by side. Now, sometimes this doesn't work properly, so you can arrange this view side by side like this and you can see that the scrolling of both the views are synchronized so you can unsynchronize the scrolling part by going to view tab then clicking on windows and then unselecting synchronized scrolling scrolling and zooming of one document is independent of the other you can ensure that this is the same document the changes in any of the one gets reflected instantaneously in the other so you can see this now you can just go to one view in one of the document now once you're done you can close any one of the view so this is first view and this is second so you can close any one of the view and get back to the original document so that's it in this video i hope this video was helpful and if that's the case then please give us a thumbs up and you can also suggest a topic for my next video in comments if you want to see more such videos on microsoft word and excel please consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell notification again that's it see you in next video